Lewis Hine was born in humble beginnings in 1874. He studied sociology at a number of universities and eventually became a teacher at the Ethical Culture School in New York City. Hine was a keen photographer and during his time teaching, encouraged his students to use photography as an educational medium. On one of his many field trips to Ellis Island, he came to the realisation that in addition to their educational value, photos could also be used as a tool for social change and reform. When he started a new role as the photographer for the NCLC, the National Child Labour Committee, he was about to start work on what would be his most impactful work. Over a period of 10 years, he documented the use of child labour in the various industries around the states of North and South Carolina. You might not think so, but this was actually quite dangerous work. The NCLC's mission was to end the practice of child labour, and a lot of factories wanted to hide that they used kids for work. So Hein was often threatened with violence or death by foremen or factory police. This meant that in order to get the photos, at various times he had to pose as a fire inspector, a postcard vendor, a Bible salesman, and even an industrial photographer making a record of factory machinery. As you can see, his work was incredible. Not only are the photos beautifully set up, but they are so very human. Hines' work was instrumental in bringing the issue of child labour to light and getting the reality in front of the eyes of the general public. Ultimately, the practice of child labour came to an end. Hine remained a photographer for the rest of his career, and his next most famous work is his recording of the construction of the Empire State Building. He died at 66 years of age, and though he was penniless at the time, he left behind quite a legacy. His work had been critical in the ending of child slavery, and even today the National Child Labour Committee remains active and each year gives out the Lewis Hine Award to people who have worked hard as advocates for children. By using his name, the committee honours both the work he did and the impact he made in the lives of young people all over America.